Hey everybody, Mike here at MH Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. Alright, well as you can see today we're going to do a video in my 2016 and what we're going to do today is we're going to play around with the UV editor in 2016. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a fairly basic object and we're going to UV it. Okay, so what are we going for? We're going to create a cardboard box, just a Pretty basic uh, cube if you like okay so we're going to go into our modeling menu and under our polygons tab we're going to select the cube and we're going to left click and drag and pull that out like so and while we're doing that i can just uh, explain to you that if you have your cube pop up automatically once you hit that you can change that setting by going to create polygon primitives and move down to interactive creation okay so if you turn that off, and I'll just delete this, and now I'll click on cube again, and boom, there you have it, right in the middle, okay? So that's kind of a choice that you have, all right. So we're gonna pull this up, hit R, and scale it out. And the reason why I did it this way is now I know for sure that all the sides of my cube are equal. So if I go into my attribute editor and hit Control A to pull that up, in my polycube menu, you can see that the scale, length, width, and uh, height, they're all exactly the same, okay? So, let's texture this guy. We're gonna right click, we're gonna go to object mode, then right click again, assign new material. I'm just gonna go with the simple Lambert. There you go. And then in the attribute editor, and again, hit Control A to pull that up. I'm going to select the checkered box next to my color tab and I'm going to select a file. Okay, I'm going to click on my folder and on my desktop I found uh, I saved a file looking something like this. Okay, so basically the layout of a cardboard box. Now immediately you can see the necessity to UV this thing because obviously this looks nothing like a cardboard box and that's exactly our point, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the UV to fit our polygon object, okay? So we're going to select our object, and we've got two ways that I know of to open our um, UV editor. Either go to uh, Windows and UV editor down here, or go to, sorry, to UV, come on, UV and UV editor, okay? So once we open that, you can see that the default projection is going on, which is these three cubes and these three here. So we didn't um, apply a projection ourselves yet. Okay, so that's what we're going to do next. So we'll just move this out of the way. We'll minimize that for a sec. And with our object selected, we're going to go to UV and we're going to select automatic. Okay. And once you do that, you can see that there are now six planes uh, facing towards your object, and these are our projection planes, if you will. Okay. Now you could hit R and you know scale. Oh, sorry. Try that again. UV automatic. Uh, automatic. Sorry. You can tweak that like so by moving the controls if you like. In this scenario, not really a necessity to do that. So we got this projection, and now we're going to look in our UV editor to see what that brought us. Okay. So again, UV, UV editor. There we go. Here is our object, uh, our 2D file with our cardboard box, and we have a number of squares going on in the surface, uh, but they're not. Um, lined up properly, they're not connected properly, and they're not displayed in the right way on top of our 2D texture file. Okay, so that's what we're going to address. All right, now first we are going to set this to a side that we can actually see both our 3D object and our UV. Okay, so I'm just going to move that in and we'll zoom a little bit. And you can pretty much use the same controls here. So if you hold down Alt and middle mouse click, you can drag this around. You can zoom in and out with your scroll wheel and so forth. All right. Okay. 
So what we're going to do first is we're going to move over to this view and we're going to say that this is the top of our box, this one right here. Now when I hover my mouse over the top, you can see that on the right, this one is turning green. Okay, so that's the top of our uh, box. So we're going to zoom out a little here. We're going to right click on that guy and we're going to select shell like so. And we're going to hit W and we're going to move that over here. And we're not going to worry about the 2D texture just now. We're going to worry about how the box is constructed. Okay. So at this point, we can kind of disregard this. So we'll maximize this window. We know that this is our top. So we're going to right click. We're going to go to edge. And we're going to select this edge. And you can see that this one is now lighting up. So this one connects to that one. All right. So with that selected, I'm going to right mouse click. I'm going to go down to polygons while holding that mouse, all right? And I'm going to select move and sew UV edges, okay? So these are now connected together. I'm going to do the same here. And now I can simply hit G on my keyboard to repeat the last command, like so. I want to do that here, G to repeat. I want to do that here, G to repeat. And one up here, and G to repeat. So now we have the entire layout of our box, okay? We're gonna move that over again. As you can see, it's not in the same rotation direction. So we're gonna right click and go to shell, which will allow us to select the whole thing. And we're gonna go up to our rotation tool and we're gonna click once and twice. So now the orientation is roughly the same, okay? We're gonna hit W and we're gonna move it until we are roughly into the space that we need to be. And I'll make this a little bit bigger and zoom that in. So we're getting close, but it's not a good fit yet. So we're gonna hit R and we're gonna to start to scale that in with our main focus on the square in the middle here because the rest should pretty much follow, okay? So we're gonna hit W and we're gonna move that in. Now that is pretty close. It's actually pretty exact. But what I'll do just for um, illustration purposes is I'll hit R and I'll kind of scale it out a little bit too big. Let's say that your fit is just a bit off like so, okay? So how would you address that? I'm gonna maximize this window and we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to UV, okay? Now, once you go to UV, when I hover over this point, it turns red. And when I drag select it, it turns green, okay? Now, the thing there is, this is not a vertex. This is a UV, okay? Big difference. So what we can do now is we can move these uh, by the same commands that you use in Maya to get them into the right place. So I hit W, which allows me to drag and move it to that point going to scroll up here we're going to take this one and we're going to do the same thing and we're going to work our way around just to kind of have that line up now as you can see to the left here the texture position is moving but we're not changing our object and again that's because these are not uh, vertices these are UVs Okay, so we're just going to work our way around here. And we'll take the one up here. I'll try to speed it up a little bit. Almost there. One there, one there, and one here, and that is pretty much it, okay? So now if we minimize this, and we go in here, and we right-click, go to object mode, and hit E and rotate it over, we now have a cardboard box with the text displayed on it correctly, with the tape correctly on top. 
And that is a very basic example of how you can UV an object in Maya 2016. All right. Well, hopefully this was uh, useful, although it was fairly basic. Um, you know, the layout in 2016 is just slightly different. So, uh, yeah, I hope that helped out. And if you've got any questions, let me know. And I'd love to see you guys again. Thanks. Bye.